leaves me a good one. <laughs> Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. And who can tell me, take a guess at what the oldest profession in the world is? Anybody want to take a stab? I thought it was prostitution. All right, what do you think? The oldest profession. Unbeknownst to what you think, prostitution. Before that came shepherding. Shepherding is actually the oldest profession <laughs> in the world. There have been shepherds around for thousands and thousands of years, even before prostitutes, <laughs> there were shepherds. And that's the reason that we still have sheep. Since it's a research speech, I researched sheep herding because I know nothing about it. I've never owned a sheep. I don't know any shepherds. And I think they're cute and cuddly. Uh, shepherds are still here today and that's why we still have sheep because left to themselves sheep are a very dumb animal. <laughs> the little girl that I tutor wanted her sheep in my speech so she drew a picture. They're cute and cuddly but that's about as smart as they get. When they're newborn they're very smart. They're born they almost immediately get up on all fours and begin to walk which is amazing because no baby, animal, or human can do that. A sheep can, but that's as smart as they get. From there on, they're very, um, and I don't even mean it derogatorily, they really naturally are a very dumb animal. Without a shepherd, they would just keep eating the same grass right down to the root. When the root was gone, then they'd eat the dirt. And they would just stay there and keep eating. They don't even know to move on their own to a greener pasture. The grass is always greener on the other side. Sheep have never heard of that. They would just stay there. That's why they need a shepherd leads them to the next pasture. If a sheep was in that pasture, the pasture would never regrow. The field would never replenish itself because they needed to the dirt. They also are very anxious animal. Very anxious. They cannot defend themselves. About 150 to 250 pounds but they don't have sharp claws, they don't have sharp teeth, and they have predators. Wolves, coyotes, bear, they all know the sheep is a big, dumb piece of meat. That's really what it is. When a sheep sees a predator, the best hope the sheep has is bah, and run. And, and they can't even run that fast, but they can't defend themselves, which explains why. Did you ever think of why? Why do they have these sweet little border collies that are half the size of a sheep herding hundreds of sheep? One little border collie can herd hundreds of sheep and get them to the next pasture. How is that possible? The, the, the sheep are huge compared to the cute little border because they're afraid of the border collie. They literally are afraid. They see in the border collie the eyes of a predator. That's what they see, a wild dog. So when the border collie herds around the sheep, sheep are scared, they herd together, and they, they run. And that's how they, they can move out in England and Scotland and Wales where there's big wide open fields. There's a lot of shepherds. They literally herd hundreds and hundreds of sheep, even sheep, even across like a major route, you know, like a route 17, but over in Ireland. People are used to it, so they'll stop their car. And here's this little border collie herding hundreds of sheep across the road. But they're afraid of the, uh, they think of the collie as a predator. And their predators, like I said, are wolf. Sheep have to be sheared once or twice a year. A sheep cannot shear itself. It can't. And no other sheep is going to help shear it. So that's why they need a shepherd. If they didn't have shepherd, sheep would be extinct. They, if they kept their coat on, just like you putting on a heavy wool blanket, imagine a heavy wool blanket wet and not dried in the dryer and you're sleeping with it on you, that would be waterlogged. So to a sheep, their wool becomes wet, it becomes waterlogged, it gets bugs in it, parasites can go up through the nose, intestines. So they literally have to be sheared to stay alive. When they talk about um, oil, like back in thousands of years when they say they anointed the sheep with oil, that was to keep the bugs and the parasite out. When they talk about a cast sheep, that's when a sheep will lay in the grass 
and you know be napping and turn over and next thing you know it's on its back but it can't, it literally it should be the commercial my fallen and I can't get up <laughs> okay but they don't have a sheep 911 button they literally can't turn themselves over and what happens is the digestive juices build up it becomes a noxious gas and their own stomach can actually kill them sheep have two stomachs like a cow they ruminate on the food so if they can't turn over, if they lay like that for hours, they could die. So the first thing a shepherd does when he wakes up is he searches the field. He looks for the cast sheep. The one that's turned over gets all his attention. He runs. That's why they have a hook, that hook, to turn them back over. Because it's quite a project. They're 150 to 250 pounds. And usually they become a cast sheep, sadly, when they're pregnant. A sheep's gestation period is five months. I learned a lot researching about sheep, yeah. but it's five months. So lambing, they usually have one to two lambs. There's a rare breed that has three at a time. But without a shepherd, they truly wouldn't survive. We do have shepherd today. It is the oldest profession. They just do not choose to call themselves shepherd. So they call themselves a farmer, a sheep holder, a, we're a wool distributor. <laughs> You know, I'm in the lamb business, uh, but they, they don't say shepherd because of the negative connotation. It is a dirty, thankless job. And they, they literally move with the flock and sometimes camp out with the flock at night with no running water themselves, just to move the sheep to greener fields. So I hope that if you ever decide to get a lamb, just remember, don't get one, get two. They're anxious animals, and they need they they do need to live in a herd. So you can't just get a lamb and a dog. Get two lamb and a dog, three lamb and a dog. They need to be part of the pack. They're like humans that way. They'll follow the Joneses, but a sheep will just keep following in circle. <laughs> they they know no better, and that's why they need a shepherd. Thank you.